Hey everyone, my name is Justin Backerberg and I'm a high school math teacher from Reesburg, Wisconsin. I first discovered Wacom products about six or seven years ago when I initially decided that I wanted to flip my classroom. I wanted to be able to make instructional videos for my math students to watch and I needed something to be able to quickly and easily write out math equations and expressions and those kinds of things to try to help my students better understand the math that I was trying to get across to them. So I went on the internet, I did a quick search, and I found Wacom, and I purchased my first Wacom into his tablet. Now I still have and use that first tablet that I bought all those years ago. I have recently upgraded to a Wacom 1, and I've been playing around with that a lot, and I absolutely love it. So right now, Wacom has this awesome deal going on where if you buy one of their Intuos tablets or Wacom One tablets, you get premium access to some different educational software apps for three months for free included with your purchase. And the app that I'm going to talk about today is Collaboard. So Collaboard is an online whiteboarding app that allows you to have multiple collaborators working on the same whiteboard at the exact same time. Now, Collaborate started in kind of the business world, but it's noticing that as people have been using a lot of these digital tools with virtual teaching, they found that a lot of people are starting to use their product for educational purposes as well. So the very first thing I thought of when I started working with Collaborate was that I could use this with my virtual students to have them interacting with me at the same time that I'm presenting some information to them. So right now on my screen, I have two different windows open. On the right hand side, I'm logged in as my teacher account on Collaboard, and on the left hand side, I'm logged in as my student account. So the nice thing about Collaboard is it allows collaboration in real time with multiple people working on the exact same board. So if I'm on my teacher board and I'm working with a specific student, and let's say we're working on solving two-step equations, and I wanted to pose a question to them. Say I wanted them to solve the equation 3x plus 4 equals 16. Well, as I'm writing it on my screen, it's showing up on their screen. So I can hop over to my other screen here, and now I'm working as the student, and if I'm trying to demonstrate to my teacher that I understand how to solve this equation, I could say, well, I know that in order to get rid of this plus 4, I would have to subtract 4 on both sides. And I could actually show that on here for my teacher to be able to see. So then we subtract the 4 from both sides, and that leaves us with 3x equals 12. Then as the teacher, maybe I say, well, where do you go from here next? Because I don't see any other operational symbols happening. And then the student could explain to me that, well, having 3x really means 3 times x, and in order to get rid of that multiplication, we would have to divide both sides by that 3, leaving us with an answer of x equals 4. So Collaborate allows real-time collaboration with multiple people on the exact same board. Now, one other thing that I thought of kind of along the same lines is when you have the premium subscription, you can have an unlimited amount of boards that you're creating. So you could create a different board for different groups and you could have students doing group work and working together, even though they might be working remotely in different locations. And you as the teacher could then bounce around to the different boards and interact with the students and see the things that they've been working on. Another thing that you could use Collaborate for is doing your actual teaching in Collaborate. You can upload PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoints, videos. You can do all of that stuff and upload those right into Collaborate. And then there's also a presentation mode that you can use. So everything that you're seeing on your screen, whoever else is viewing that board, they're also seeing the exact same thing. So this is just a quick board that I threw together. If you're having students work asynchronously, you could upload a YouTube video for them to watch like I have, and then maybe after they're done watching that video, they would go and work on some sort of assignment or activity, and maybe you wrap things up with an exit ticket. But this would also work synchronously as well. You could upload PowerPoint slides in here, and you could use that presentation mode, and you could work your way through those slides presenting the information that you want to present to your students and then sending them off to work on whatever activity it is and then doing their exit ticket. And with this exit ticket, students could add in a sticky note here by clicking on the note button or if they go into media, they could also record a video. So if you want them to record a response to your question, they could do that and upload that directly into the board as well. 
The last thing I thought of is you could use Collaboard, but you could have the students creating the boards instead of you being the one creating the board. So at the end of the year or at the end of the semester, you could have the students create a board as an end of the year portfolio, and they could be the ones uploading pictures and PDFs and PowerPoints and recording videos and all of these things to show you and support the learning that has happened all throughout the semester. Now this is just a quick peek at some of the things that Collaboard can do. I myself am still learning how to use a lot of the different things that are available on there. So you might discover something else that you really love about Collaboard that I haven't talked about. And that's okay, that's great. But like I mentioned, when you buy a Wacom Intuos tablet or a Wacom One, you get three months of the advanced version of this for free. All the price points are very reasonably priced, but you get that three months of the advanced version for free. So you get all of the features that are available to you to play around with and try out to really decide the things that you love about Collaboard. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching.